what is up youtube so today i read some news uh that we might have a a 512 gigabyte phone the galaxy note 9 that it might have 500 gigabytes of internal storage will this matter that much i don't really know because i don't think so because a lot of people already can have 256 gigabyte internal storage uh, or just, yeah, the first of their are phones already with 256 gigabytes of internal storage. Then you have phones that support a 256 gigabyte micro SD card. So you can already have 500 gigs in many phones. But uh, the Galaxy Note 9, okay, I have, some I have some complaints. Okay, first of all, why are they spelling it like this? Why are they putting Note and 9 into the same name? I find that so annoying, okay? And I know I'm picky, but seriously, Samsung, can you just make the right name? The other thing is, it seems like the Galaxy Note 9 might be a little bit more rounded. So we take a look at this, this design here. This might be the real deal. So it looks like it has a little bit more of a rounded design. A little bit of that Galaxy S, um, Galaxy S design, uh, especially the Galaxy S8, which I sort of enjoy, but in many ways, I also do not enjoy that because I like that more masculine frame of the Galaxy Note lineup. I think it should look a little bit more masculine. Uh, the Galaxy S8 looks a bit, a bit more feminine uh, in its curves, and it's kind of cool in a way, but it, it, there is something to say about this business look with more straight lines. Uh, probably the Galaxy Note 9 is still gonna come with an S Pen, uh, even though it's not as interesting these days. The Galaxy, the, the, the S Pen is not uh, that interesting these days because every single phone now is kind of becoming big. For example, the Galaxy S8 and the Galaxy S8 Plus, they were almost the same size. And it, yeah, I mean, it, 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 it kind of removes that sort of special experience that the Galaxy Note lineup had back in the days where first the phone looked more masculine and uh, the pen was really something that made the phone stood out. It was a nice experience. But just because every phone is big these days, the Note lineup, it kind of loses its value, right? It loses its value. Another annoying thing I can see here is that it seems like uh, Europe, is, Europe is not on the list that's gonna get this, that it, it, the 512 gigabyte Note 9, that it's only China. So this is something that we've been seeing with Samsung a lot lately. They've been, they really hate Europe for some reason. Uh, we saw that with the Galaxy Note 6 or no, I think it was the Galaxy Note 5 that, that was almost impossible to get in Europe. And it's like really hard to get a phone in Europe. I mean, it shouldn't be hard. When Samsung doesn't release their high-end phones in Europe, it's, it's a disaster. So we had that Note 5 disaster, didn't come in Europe. And then we had the Note 7, was that the phone that kind of started to burn battery problems? I think so. And now the, I think the Note 8 is out right now, but it costs like 1000 euro, it's too expensive. It's, it's just like the iPhone X. No people can get their hands on it because it's just pretentiously expensive, okay? And it doesn't make any sense anymore because it doesn't come with any magical features. The Note 9, again, I, I want to try out Samsung's phones here but it's it's probably going to be expensive also super expensive it's it's rumored to come on august the 9th with the core new things like bigger battery faster wireless charger and a brown color wow you can get the phone in a brown color wow and a bigger battery but we already have small batteries in the note phone so it's not going to really be that much bigger faster wireless charging is that really a big thing no it's not most people are not using wireless charging. It's, I mean, we've had gimmick features in the past, but now it's starting to get almost a little bit ridiculous how, how silly things are getting. And uh, for example, I, th there's a concept here, right? From on leaks. Okay, this is how I would like the, um, the Note 9 to look, but I'm, I don't think it's gonna look like this. I think it's gonna be more of a feminine look and I think that the current Note that's out, the Note 8, it comes with this annoying glass back. I enjoy the, the Note phones when they were new, like the original Note, the second Note, the Note 3 I think was my favorite. Wait a sec, yeah, the Galaxy Note 3 was really cool and the Note 4. 
The Note 4 was cool because it had the Fox letter back. And no, wait a sec. Oh yeah, it was, I think both the Fox letter back, I think that both came on the Note 3 and the Note 4. Uh, it made the phones really stand out. It really made them have a magical experience. Still the two best Note phones to this date. Uh, it felt good, okay, to hold. The Galaxy S2 was a little bit too slippery, even though it was a little bit less uh, fat in sides. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, plastic or fox leather is definitely the best material to use on the, the, uh, the phones that are especially big, you know. So Note 9, 512 gigabyte variant might come. But I don't really, I don't really see that selling point. I don't, I don't want 512 gigabytes. It's they really. I think something needs to work on bringing a special experience to the Note lineup again. But I'm not sure if they can do that. Yeah, have an awesome day, YouTube.